have you ever wondered how can I save my game in Godot using a dictionary? Well, in today's video, in case you're illiterate and can't read the title of the video, I'm going to show you how to do that um, using our save files. So. Um, this is going to be Godot 4. Um, Godot 3 is very similar, but in Godot 4, it has changed a little bit. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you want to see Godot 3, um, I would probably recommend watching another video on it. There's a lot of other videos out there that are very good. So let's get started. First thing we're going to have is we're going to have a main scene, but all this is pretty much useless. We have a character with an animated sprite. In fact, I'm going to delete this. We don't need it. Um, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using our main function. I've added a built-in script where we just have a load and save function we're also going to be printing out our gold and keep in mind the global is auto loaded so in project settings whoops i don't know why it's showing up on my other screen in auto load we have auto loaded our global script so that way we can save and load from anywhere okay in our save script uh, in our global script this is what we have. So let's explain it. So first of all, we have gold. That's just the amount of gold that we're going to save. Um, you can have as many variables as you want, but we're just going to use one for this example. Next, we're going to have a save path and a save password. Um, this was not used yet because I haven't figured out how to encrypt it, but uh, maybe for a later video. Okay, so first for save, this is very simple. We're going to create a file by file.access or file access.open with our save path. And then we're going to write something. So this is going to allow us to open something and write it. Okay. Data is going to be the dictionary that we have and we're going to save. In case you don't know what a dictionary is, um, I have some, I think I have a tutorial on it actually. Um, I might make a new one later soon. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, and then next, this is, this is actually a bit simpler than Godot 3. Next, we're, all we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, and we're going to make a new variable, JSTRING, and we're going to convert our data into a JSTRING. So JSON.stringify data. And now all we have to do is store that line the JSON, the JSTRING into our file, okay? And before in Godot 3, you would have to close the file, but now you don't have to do that, which is actually quite nice. I like that. Um, next up is our load function. This is also quite simple. We're gonna have a file, but now instead of writing, we're gonna read it because this is actually very important. If you have write here instead of read, it's gonna over uh, pass what you have, or it's gonna like <laughs> remove what you have in this file, right? The save path, okay? so. I have two function or two things here, if statements, to make sure that we're not gonna uh, load on nothing. So if file doesn't exist, we're just gonna return. If file is null, we're gonna return. So that we won't get to here if the file is empty. All right, now if the file exists, again, this is going to be another kind of safe proof, then we're, if it's true, so if it does exist, then we'll actually do this. So this is where the actual loading happens. If the file is not, end of file has not been reached, Right? So we haven't reached the end of file. We're going to keep going through this and we're going to go to variable current, or, uh, variable current line, that's just a current line variable. And we're going to say parse the string uh, file.getLine. So this is actually going to get every line in order. So you have to make sure that you load it and save it in order. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it won't work. I haven't actually tested this, but I'm almost sure it won't work. So definitely make sure that you write uh, in order. Um, and we're just going to say if current line, if there does exist one, we're just going to make gold equal to current line dot gold. Right? And we're just going to load everything in that way. All right. So to test this, we're going to have gold dot equals zero in our main function. I'm going to have save game and load game. So it's going to create a new file for us. And as you can see, to test this, I've pulled out our uh, files. As you can see here, we have our save game, save game dot bin. And if we open this, it says gold zero. So let's close this. Let's put this to the side. Let's close our game. And now let's try uh, loading it and changing the variable. So let's go to here and let's change this to 100. Now if I load, you guessed it, it should pop up zero because I saved gold zero, right? So now let's go back and save and load it. And now let's try playing again and see what we have. And it should overpass and give us 100. So now if we open up our game, bit, save again, save bin it'll give us 100 now so this is how we make a save file into a dot bin and this this is a json file so uh hopefully that helps guys um i've tried to explain it really quickly um in a very short video files are a bit complicated they're not really beginner friendly um i've tried to kind of simplify it as much as i can within four minutes um, but hopefully this helps. Um, if you guys wanted to, to know how I figured this out, um, it's actually very simple. Uh, on the top right, you just go to the documentation and it explains it very well. Um, ooh, not in here. That's weird. Ooh, no, sorry. In our global, what we can do is uh, control and click and file access will pop up. There we go.
that's how. So I, I use this to kind of figure it out. And there's a bunch of really useful functions that you can use. And this is kind of how I made this fu entire function. So if you guys find that useful, definitely check out my channel. I have a lot more videos like this coming out soon. And I have released a few other videos where I kind of just try to simplify, uh, simplify something very quickly in a few minutes so I don't waste your time. Um, if you guys want to see more like this, definitely subscribe down below. Um, I also have a Twitch down below that you should definitely check out. Go subscribe and follow that. Uh, I don't have a subscribe button on my Twitch yet, so you can't do that. But um, go follow it. Go watch me uh, when I stream. That would be awesome. I'm currently making a new game, so I'm streaming that a lot right now. Um, what else? Um, subscribe to my channel and f uh, f comment down below and share that video if you find this useful and you might know anyone who might also find this useful. Um, lastly, I have a Discord. I would love if you guys joined. Um, I'm trying to grow the community with you guys and we have a good amount of people now. So um, definitely check that out and I would love to see you guys there. Um, peace.